with uh, extreme potential, extreme belief in terms of the difference that you can make uh, in, this, in this market. Lagos also has a very special place for us. This market is one where you know, there's a lot of energy, a lot of innovation. When you look at the landscape from a technological perspective, the number of unicorns, the number of tech startups that are coming out of this space, it is a hotbed for innovation and for us to really leverage our platform, our world-class capabilities, and implement them for local African circumstances. In Uber, the safety is the most important thing to us, right? Obviously, reliability is great, but safety is super, super important, and that's why we keep investing in technology and raising the bar on safety, right? We do this through different methods. Number one, like I said, we keep raising the bar on technology, so we keep working with partners uh, and also keep looking for new technology to ensure that you're safe when on a trip and when off a trip, right? The other approach that we use is we look at other countries, other cities that we have initiatives, uh, like Kagiso just mentioned, that in Joburg we have an emergency number, right? Uh, in Lagos, uh, we have an emergency number, it's 112, uh, but sometimes it's not enough, right? So we look at some of those cities, what we've implemented there, and we bring back those learnings and then implement it locally. Once you press the app, goes to our control center, we acquire what the emergency is and then we dispatch if there's a need to. Now the dispatch is only for obviously serious cases, emergency. So routine incidents are things that we don't typically respond to um, except they're emergencies, right? So and the emergency depends on issues like you can have emergencies regarding security, if your windows are broken or if your phone is snatched or there's a robbery case and so on while you're on or for drivers, if you get into a situation where you feel unsafe and you wish to be extracted or the passenger is carrying um, drugs or anything like that, such serious incidents is where we essentially send dispatch security people, police and so on. Um, talking about safety, it's, it's important, it's paramount, like we say, safety first. And uh, just to talk a little bit about the Safety Commission, it was, uh, was set up about 10 years ago, just a little bit over 10 years ago, basically with the mandate of um, protecting people, preserving lives, reducing accidents that can lead to injuries, that can lead to diseases, and even fatalities, as the case might be. And the Commission covers several sectors, from construction, to food safety, to road safety, to rail safety, which we're now moving into oil and gas safety, school safety, trying to get the young ones um, immediately at that young age um, conversant with what safety is.